no, he stopped. He stopped. Oh, dude, he hit him. Oh, well, at least I know the trap worked. <laughs> it didn't kill him, but I don't really care. Hello, guys. How's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Modded Factions. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I know I am. <laughs> but guys, I just want to say thank you for so like just thank you so much for all the support this show You guys have been unreal. I've uh, I don't know if you know I don't know hopefully you can see it, but I'm having an absolute blast this show. I'm enjoying myself so much It feels unique what I'm doing. It's just such a fun show to create So I highly recommend if you have a few friends and you have a server or even you can buy a very cheap server I think the server that I buy is from MC Pro hosting. I think it's about five dollars a month I would definitely recommend making a show like this with your friends and just having a blast. It's so much fun. But just thank you so much for all the support. If you could just keep going down below, smashing that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Because the more likes and stuff I see, the more I'll get out for you. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to jump straight into this episode. We're getting straight into it. Let me tell you a story of how your boy, Crazy Steve 97 or Ryan, whatever you call me, Creeper's Edge, ended a war. Okay, so Sword, continuing on from yesterday's episode, Sword has just logged online. We're just gonna see if these bear traps potentially kill them, or is he, or if they despawned. I'm not sure. They might have actually despawned since I left the chunk, but we'll see. Oh no, he stopped. He stopped. Oh, dude, he hit him. Oh, well, at least I know the trap work. <laughs> it didn't kill him, but I don't really care. I just want him to know that I mean business, and I mean it. <laughs> he doesn't know what it is. <laughs> He said, did someone just shoot me? <laughs> nope. You got trapped, mate. Hello? Yeah, buddy. You uh, just I'm assuming... No, I'm assuming... I'm not at the base right now. I'm not at your base. But I'm assuming you just ran into my trap. Since you said, did um, someone just shoot me? Are you online? Did you, Yeah, I'm online. But I'm not at the base. I'm actually out. Yeah, I'm, think, at, I'm at... I, I steal your headspace. Did you... Did, did you just... In B. No, I'm not in V. Shouldn't be. Why are you not coming up on top? Should be. I shouldn't nope. be. I'm not here anyway. Well, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think I just ran into your trap, possibly. You don't come online for me. It doesn't say you're online. No, I just did vanish. They said it was enabled, and I just disabled it. I'm actually your headspace anyway. <laughs> oh, woo! All right, buddy. Look, look, look. Stay oh, still. Stay still. Stay Whoa. still. Stay Whoa. still. Whoa. Yeah, I'm, sc I'm scared. Wait, wait. Right. I, change my, my I don't know if you actually. Do you know what? Do you know what? Before you come back up, right? Go down to your bottom of the base. Wait, just go down to the bottom of your base. Just have a look. What have you done? I'm scared. I'm not saying I've done anything. Oh, I see. I see. Right? You see what's yeah. going on? All right, wanna come back up? Yeah, I, I see what's going on, yeah. I've also got your mini moke, so thank you very much for that. I'll take that, wow. since you owe me that, when I would try to hold you up and be nice. And okay, it did actually break. You no, also took so materials for that, all right? Yeah, it did break, but you're meant to hand it over to me, and I let you go. And I, I'm taking it anyway. Look, I don't want you having a car. Look, come back to the door. Otherwise, I will grenade launcher it. It's either that or you throw your base blow up. But like, oh, you know what I mean, I don't really care about dying. Yeah, right, stay right there. Yeah. Right, you're alone, aren't you? Yeah. You're alone. For ages, I have been trying to suss out if you're alone or not, thinking that you always have people. Like, well, not like maybe living in your base, but you have people. But you're basically alone. Well, like, technically, so, I do, but I'm not saying who yet. That's fine. You only have one other person, is it? Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, bud, if you want to end the war, it might be in your best interest, especially since you're living very, very close to us. Uh, look, you can either end it, let us win, we can go on, you can work for us, you can... Bet I'm assuming you're making those roads. Yeah, yeah, I'm making the roads. You can work for us, you can keep making the roads away, that's a very valuable resource, you are very, you will be a very valuable worker, put it that way. Um, I'll let you make the roads, manage our base and everything like that, you know what I mean, you can have a natural roses and get to our base and for now you won't have to give me any daily payment other than just keep working on those roads and your rail system but obviously just remember that we have full use over it so the war is over uh no if i, I take this offer. basically yeah like you have another person i've only been trying to suss out and get ready for this war because i thought you had loads of other people but it clicked to me like clicked to me the other night and i was like wait you're always by yourself do you even have a team Right, okay, so... And, if, and if I... it, it can't be good for you, because if you, at the end of the day, you ain't got time to move your base now, and I've sussed it out, you're living inside there, that's a proper base. I can see there's really, really valuable stuff. You're by yourself, you ain't got time to move out, 
So if you want to end this war here, like I can get everyone on. Or if you don't want to end this, I can get everyone on tonight and we can just strip your base completely clean. But you know the terms and condition. If you do end the war, like we do really mean that. There's no crossing your fingers or something like that. That is the rules. Like we need to be fair with that. Otherwise, wars would literally go on forever. But like, you know what I mean? You're not even in position at the end of the day. So if I if I accept this, all I've got to do is continue building my roads. Yeah, we can we can build a see, this might be modded factions, but it doesn't mean we have to always be at war. We can actually build a fully functioning world as well. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Oh, you work for us. Uh, at the moment, your payments will be working on the roads. We won't ask for anything else. For example, we have if you don't know, we have I Steal Your Heads crew. They give us payments in like the guns and stuff department, because that's what they specialize in. But you seem to be making roads and, and transport. And that will be payment enough if you work and grind away on that. And do I, I don't have to give you any cars? Don't have to give up my you cars? Give, you don't have to give me any cars. The only thing is I'm going to keep the anything I sold right now as damages. Okay, right. I, I will accept your offer. I will call off the war. I will continue building my roads. Yep. And I guess, yeah, you keep whatever you just stole. Yeah? Yeah. You're fair enough? Right, you can have some mm -hmm. of your food back because I don't want you going hungry. Yeah? Yeah. Let's actually, let's yeah, properly please. shake on this. Because okay. honestly, I think that's the wise idea to do. I know war might be good. Let's shake. Um, just hit you with my hand. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Right, look, you can have some of this back. You can have your wheat back. I'm going to keep 41 carrots because I need food anyway. But look, that is fair enough. That is a wise idea. Who is it? I'm, I'm assuming this faction is J-Tom that's with you. Uh, well, he's not with me, but he's like... Was, your, was that no, your guy? He's No, it wasn't. But, you know, Why like... I just J say? I, I've been hearing little whispers about TG. Saying what? Like, I'm assuming TG's been... TG's gone off the radar. Like, I've seen him online a few times. He hasn't said anything about the stuff that I stole from him. But TG's gone off the radar. Well, so, he came on before. Nah, yeah, but, like, I'm assuming, where, where is that going to be your member? Because I know you guys get along sometimes. Possibly. It could be. I'm not 100% sure right now, but, yeah, he could be joining. Yeah, my okay, that's confirmed. Group. When you say I'm not 100% sure right now, that's the guy you're talking well, about. Well, no, I'm not 100% sure because he doesn't know if he's going to be coming back from his yeah, own break. Yeah, state. yeah, 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 whatever. That's the guy. Look, okay, okay. Wise idea, end the war, because I don't know if you know or knew, but if you didn't, next episode or tomorrow, I would have always contacted you saying that we're going, because obviously if we do a war and we're going to actually do the war part and actually end the war, because you know it, you, me, I'm just letting the viewers know so they understand the show. When a war is happening, we have little fights, like I might shoot you and you might shoot me and I might kill you and stuff, but that's not how you end the war. The way you end the war is by literally blowing up someone's base until someone says, okay, I can't take this any longer. <laughs> yeah. But that's what exactly would have happened to your base. Because I don't know if you know, but uh, we had a we have a jet. Okay. Don't oh. know if it's locked and loaded yet, but Steelerhead said that he's gave me a nice payment and what I exactly need. And I think that's exactly what I needed. So I'm assuming that he's got missiles for me. So it's a wise idea. Because you I have bomb. no jet protection at all. Yeah, I don't. I've I could bomb. I, like, literally, if I fly <laughs> in from there, there is like a straight path through that door. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, well, war is it's over. over now. Yep. That's the first time a war has ever been sorted properly. Oh my god, all that build up. That's you this show is freaking unique. All that build up yeah. and then like it's this. But no, fair enough, right? Uh, look, at the end of the day, this is a show. We don't take it seriously. We just we just go along with things and we have a bit of fun and we It's about building a world. Completely about building yep. a world. You'll probably go to war with me later on when we call some issues. Yeah, probably yeah. will. <laughs> Once there's actually a valid issue. But like, you know what I mean? might as well work together. Having a road system will um value the whole server. And at the end of the day, if you build the roads, you can pay people for using the roads. But at the end of the day, <laughs> we own the roads right now. But you make it for us and we keep you happy. We won't blow up your base. Okay. Okie dokie. Yep. Okie dokie. Talk to you in a bit. War is yeah, over. Yeah, I'm gonna go in my base now. I'm yeah, go. war is over. No problem. Oh. Alright, speak to you in a bit, dude. Well, there we go. <laughs> Our gut instinct was right. We could have ended that absolute ages ago. Now, I do want to get revenge. I'm not going to lie. I do want to kill him for him killing me. But I've got a car from him. I got some other stuff. But if we can keep him on our side to build some walls or to build some roads, that is obviously a very, very valuable thing. Like, right now, there is peace in the land. Like, that's actually really weird to say. There's actually peace. And now we can expand our business. There's still people we still need to find. We ne still need to find Alex Teal's base. I know he's living somewhere. We still need to find Captain A Gaming. We need to capture all these people and make them work for us. I think this actually may work. And also, who knows? Maybe new people will be joining soon. If anyone wants to tweet Otekers asking, do you want to join Modern Factions? Let them know. Because we're all up for people joining. Other YouTubers, of course. And friends. But the war is over. And we're going to have someone making something very valuable. Because if someone builds 
roads and we have a road system, we can use tanks properly. We can use all sort of stuff. We can get, hopefully, our money quicker because someone can just drive a truck straight to our base. There's absolute load of stuff that can happen. Like, this is a war show. This is modded factions. But this is also something different than just shoot, 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 war, war, war. We're hoping to build a world that um, works and is really fun and have, like, really cool builds and stuff in it. Wars will erupt every so often over certain disputes. But right now, it's peaceful. GG. G freaking G. And we trapped Sword. Our trap worked. And he got scared as well. Anyway, let's head over to TG's or I Steal Your Head's base. Sorry, apologies. I keep calling him TG. And let's collect our payment. Let's also bring the truck with us. Because then we can carry. Does this have cargo? If this has cargo, this would be good. Oh, dude, this has loads of cargo. Oh, sweet. Right, well, if he has a big surprise for me, I can just literally take it all. All right, let's drive to uh, I Steal Your Head's base. Let's get our payment. And also, we can get our jet back because we don't need the runway. We don't need it for tomorrow's war. Because I was actually planning to bomb uh, Sword's base tomorrow. But, like, he's making roads for us now. He's on our side. He's working for us. What's the point? It's much more valuable, him, uh, him actually working, than being blown up. <laughs> for now, anyway. See, this is why we need roads. This is so difficult to actually manage because there's so many forests everywhere. And if I crash into a tree, there's a high chance this vehicle may just bust. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We need roads so bad. <laughs> yeah. I steal your head's base is basically impassable at this point. Let's get out and let's get our car back. Come here, car. Yeah, we need a road network. I'm gonna I'm gonna relay that to Sword and say we need a road network to I steal your head as quick as possible. Oh my god, I just realized we don't have to use Doom Squad HQ. We can keep our spare set of armor in it, but we can move everything else out. It's over. Until next time. <laughs> Which may be tomorrow. I bet you any money a war is gonna break out in like two seconds now. Now, I still the reason why I think I still your head has got me rockets for my plane, which I really hope he does, by the way, is because he said go to I think he said that your payment is in the hangar section. But I'll check where it normally is, but I think he said the hangar section. Okay, oh my god, we need to be very, very careful. I steal your head is not messing around with his security on his base. He's got all the trees at the front to stop tanks from getting in. But he's also getting landmines. Dude, are these things full? Okay, they're not even activated yet. But there could be some hidden... <gasps> oh my god, there's a landmine right there. It's just... Okay, it only has dirt in it. Dude, oh my god. We need to be very, very careful. We need to get a road system up ASAP. To hopefully stop me stepping on a landmine one day. He is going ham on his security. And I don't blame him, to be honest. He's probably one of the richest people on the server. Like his crew is. And if they were actually a proper team where they managed to, like, own stuff. But they're they're only our higher squad. They're mercenaries. And that's what they want to be. So that's why they don't really go to war with anyone. They just keep everyone happy or get hired. Okay, right. So the runway should just be over here. I think he... Let's just go to the runway. I think he said go to the runway to collect my payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Hang on. <laughs> I always want to make sure. I just got to be careful. You never know when it might turn their head. I'm just going to make sure. Look, there's, there's, there's no landmines there. Okay, what have we got? Okay, we've got an iron chest there. Ryan's jet. Okay. Oh, yes. There we go. There we go. He has made us seven missiles. I'm not going to waste them. And now I don't have to waste them on sword. So these things will be really valuable. My next mission is, and you guys remember, if you go back two more episodes ago, my payment got stolen by someone called um, Shadow Something. And uh, we need to find his base. Need to wait for him to be online. And I need to get my payment back. And maybe... Maybe I might use the missiles on that. I'm not very happy that someone stole my payment. Not very happy at all, to be honest. Right, so he's got missiles there for us. Let's just double check and just make sure there's no overpayments. I'm going to keep the missiles there. I, I don't know. I think, do you know what? I might actually leave the jet there because it, I don't have a runway yet. And I still your head seems to be keeping to his word. So I'm going to keep the missiles there, the jet there. Because then when I need it, I have a runway. I can take off. I can land it easily. He's looking after it. I appreciate that. All right, let's just see if there's anything here. Now, I always check to make sure that there is no trap here. Anything here? No. Okay, so that's the only payment he's giving me today, but that's fine. Seven missiles is plenty. So hopefully soon enough, we can start moving everything back out of Doom Squad HQ. Maybe keep some valuables in there for safety as backup. But we can actually start working on the base that we're currently living in right now and make it look nice. And now Sword's going to be making a road system so we can work off that. So that's going to be great. Or actually, since we're not at war, I should... You know what I mean? I, I actually can go get my set back. Let's go get my armor and move it up into my actual room. Which is up in the tower. I'm actually going to do that. Because I don't need a war set if we're not at war. It's only when we're at war I'll make the war set hopefully as quick as I can. 
So let's head back and let's take my stuff back. I'm not going to lie. It does feel nice not being at war now. Because <laughs> I can actually focus on my base and actually get prepared. Because I didn't... No one expected something like a war to break out in the first like couple of days. Like no, no one was ready for it. Now, what the plan is, is we obviously saw our base, of course. But we start looking for other people's hideouts. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are underground hiding because they know that people want them. Especially me. So they know if they get found, they're either going to have to work for me or move or get destroyed. <laughs> and then be constant enemies to us. So a lot of people are definitely hiding somewhere. But maybe if we get enough fuel, we can take the plane out and uh, look for people that way. Because the plane is like super fast. Okay. We are at Doom Squad HQ. From what I know, I don't think this has been found yet. Thank the Lord. But that's the good thing about a HQ. You can just move it if it does. Right, well, let's check if my stuff is still here. Yep, it's not being found. Right, you guys can come back home. I could probably use my Python now because I don't need a spare set. Okay, let's place down the car and let's load everything into the car. Because that's what it's good for. Cargo. <laughs> oh my god, this thing can hold an absolute ton. This is a hidden treasure. I did not know that this could hold much stuff. But it actually can. Well, HQ, I guess I will see you when I next see you. TG stuff, I'm going to keep here for now because I know he's coming back. Maybe. So, I just want to see. We may have a war still brewing. I'm not sure. But um, we'll see about this. And uh, I guess we can now safely transport all this stuff home and keep there. So, yeah. Doom Squad and HQ, I'll see you later, buddy. Hopefully, um, hopefully no one finds you. And um, it doesn't really matter if anyone does. And... Maybe every so often I'll come back and work on you. I want to expand that map. It's kind of emotional. <laughs> nah, honestly, it feels great not to, like, not have to live in here anymore because literally it was only a couple of days and we're already at war. So I didn't get a lot of time to really build my base. It's nice to have a bit of peace right now. Right, hopefully we can drive this car home in one piece. <laughs> because if this car breaks, I'm pretty sure all our stuff breaks as well. But I think we can make our way home from here. Actually, if we can connect up with Swords Road at the moment, we definitely can actually. Let me turn it back around. I think we have to go this way. Now, can you see why I wanted to use sword for roads? I hope so. Because this is freaking... This is just... Oh, my God. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't you break. See? That is why I wanted to keep sword for roads. That's why it was in my best interest not to blow them up. We need roads, dude. This is just yucky and horrible. It's too dangerous as well. Especially if you're transporting really rare stuff. Which I'm not. But I do have a few good things inside here. All right, at least we can, we'll use the road system from here. It should work. Actually, this is a good test to see if these roads are big enough. Oh, actually, if we work for him, we can probably you, we can probably store in his base now. We can use his garage. Okay, so look, he had a road system and everything. And soon enough, it's going to be hopefully linked up. Dude, this is epic. Look how good this is. It might need to be a little bit wider, but it's better than driving through a forest. Okay, we got to slow down. We've got a tight turn. There we go. And he said then he's hopefully going to link everything up here. So we should be good. Whee! <laughs> this is like Harry Potter. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Car, come back. We are now home. <laughs> and there's no war. Okay, let's just bring the car up top and uh, let's start sorting out our room and stuff. Okay, so this chest up here is going to be my organized chest with everything, like all my good things. Uh, I'm going to put the spare FN scar inside here. I don't need this, but I am going to maybe... Actually, you know what? I'll use my revolver when I next lose this gun. Whenever I, if I die, whenever I next die or lose it or give it away. But it's nice to have a bit of an organized chest so that um, if I do die, now I can just grab this and stuff. It's, it's nice to have my own space and stuff as well. Like, you know what I mean? No one else is sharing up here. So ending up in this like tower block is all mine. Everything's mine. We've also got our car there. We've got our weapons. We've got a spare set of diamond armor. We good. We good to go. And then this chest will just be anything and everything dumped in and organized as we go. <laughs> because at the end of the day, come on. You know me. I can't keep anything organized. Maybe one chest I can keep organized. But the rest have to be a dump. It's just how it works. But there we go, guys. There is a peace in the world for once. I'm actually going to say this. So I've just let everyone know in chat that the war is over. And uh, from what I know, there's no other wars going on. Everyone else is quiet. We good. And now Sword is working for us. Who would have known that? Who would have thought that? <laughs> but anyway, guys, I am going to end this episode here. We have one other mission that we need to sort out. I don't know when we will, but we'll get around to it. So don't let me forget. 
Someone called Shadow, something like that, stole payment from me. So that's one last thing we need to check out and find out. But guys, if you want me to do anything, if you want me to build a secret airbase, if you want me to make an airbase or make a new secret hideout base or anything like that, if you want me to do anything, give me ideas down below and I will try for fulfill them to you. If there's anything you would like to see in a modest show or just see that would be cool or see me do, let me know down below. And don't say wars. Wars and everything will come soon but we are already starting off the show everyone's kind of poor <laughs> and wars need to happen for a reason there needs to be a motive this ain't a normal faction server this ain't kill 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 this is do it when the time's right anyway guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next episode goodbye